Stoops seven and one in those Big 12 title games. He's, he's pretty good there. <laughs> well, let the fiesta begin. The Sooners Big 12 champions again. Big Al and Shaq with our team coverage from Arlington. And we just had a mindset to just come out here and do the best we could. And obviously we came out on top. I was going to cherish this moment and look forward to what was to come. Answered the bell. We were down 17-0 and, and uh, we kept playing ball. Um, this is a big rivalry, big tradition around this game, and we were able to you know, end it the way it's supposed to end it. We got through it. All I know is we had more points than they did at the end of the game, so that's all that matters. So it was a good team win, and uh, it's pretty special to have the, the last championship and uh, to add to the number we already have. It. How sweet it is for the Oklahoma Sooners to end the Big 12 as we know it with a 23-20 victory over Nebraska, the team leaving for the Big 10. Now Oklahoma gets to play in a BCS game, but more importantly, Bob Stoops now has seven Big 12 championships in eight games. The league's only been around for 15 years. That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, it's really neat. Uh, again, uh, to, in this game, with uh, the stakes as they were, and the last one here, uh, at least for now, hopefully we can, you know, we can keep chasing it. It was a very ugly first 18 minutes for Oklahoma. Nebraska led it 17 to nothing. A long pass to Kenny Stills started the momentum swing. Oklahoma finally got the momentum, tied the score at 17, went to the halftime locker room, trailing by three. The second half was defense, and then some. More on the defense coming up in just a little bit with Jason Shackelford. We want to tell you, this win by Oklahoma was big. Just ask the players. Just ask the head coach. You know, and I just, you know, kept growing through, this, through the year and getting better and better. Um, it's very gratifying, you know, and exciting to see so many young players play so well and, and to mesh so well with the older guys that we have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're sending them out in a good way, right? They're leaving the Big 12. What better way to send them out than this one? Al, the old cliche about defenses winning championships certainly held true in the Big 12 championship. The OU offense put up some points, but it was the defense on the field in the fourth quarter that notched another Big 12 title. Really played with great discipline. Um, and particularly coming out of the, of the first half when we were down at one point, 17 to nothing, and to come back and, to, and not panic and to stay the, the course and to, 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 again, play with incredible, incredible uh, determination and desire. And uh, uh, you could really, really see it in their eyes. They were excited and hungry to go back out on the field and make another big stop. Oklahoma also won the big turnover battle. Travis Lewis coming up with interceptions and fumble recoveries. You know, I was bait, kind of baiting him into throwing it, and he threw it. And, uh, you know, these hands ain't what they used to be, but I caught it. The doer product, Ron L. Lewis, called the hammer, living up to that name as well. You know, we just got in there and we just talked amongst ourselves and told us, hey, we got to go out and get this. We worked too hard to not to come this far and give up. And we just had a mindset to just come out here and do the best we could. And obviously we came out on top. And we just played a great game, man. You know, I'm excited for all of us. This is, this is huge. Uh, you know, I've, this is my third Big 12 championship, and this means the most. So now Oklahoma heads to the Fiesta Bowl. Travis Lewis reminded us in the post-game press conference that OU is on a one-game bowl winning streak. Reporting from Dallas in the Big 12 championship, Jason Shackle for 2 News works for you. Shaq, Al, good work. More from last night's Big 12 championship on our website right now, including a championship slideshow. KJRH.com, then click on sports. All right, bowl pairings will be made official later tonight, but in all likelihood, it's going to be OU and UConn in the Fiesta Bowl. The Huskies' Big East champions in just the program's 11th season as an FBS program. Latest AP Top 25 for you. Sooner stay put at number 9. Oklahoma State's number 16. Auburn 1, Oregon 2. They'll play for a national title. Arkansas, likely Sugar Bowl bound. Checking in at number eight. All 35 matchups to be finalized tonight. Oklahoma State likely heading south to play in the Alamo Bowl. Washington, the projected opponent. Tulsa accepting a bid to the Hawaii Bowl yesterday. We're back with college hoops in week 13 in the NFL after this.